Hey, there are a lot of bad actors out there on the internet. And in 2006, yeah, can you believe it? 2006 is 2023. I introduced you all to NoScript, my subscribers and several people. Since then, that video has gotten over 100,000 views. And I had a follow-up one in 2010 that got a bunch of views. And that was the last time I talked about it. So it's 2023. It's time to talk about NoScript again. If you're really wanting to make sure that your browser is secure, this is the browser extension you want for Chrome. So let's go over to my desktop and take a look at how to get this extension for Chrome. And we'll go through some basics of how to use it. Okay, so here you can see that I'm at the NoScript website, noscript.net. And this is, in my opinion, the easiest way to get to the add-on. And we'll do another video for Firefox later, but I wanted to do it for Chrome because uh, this works. For, this will work for Edge. It'll work for Brave. Any Chromium-based browsers, there are limitations based on what... Um, what the Chrome team allows people access to. So ideally, if you want to get the most out of it, you're going to want to switch to the Firefox browser, but we won't get into that. Okay, so two ways to get it. Go to noscript.net slash get it, all one word, and then you can click on the link here to go to the Chrome Web Store and then click the Add to Chrome button It'll ask you if you want to add the extension. You add it, and it's going to check it, and there you go. It's been installed. Now it'll prompt you to turn on sync in order to add it to all of your browsers on all your computers. You can choose whether or not you want to do that. Okay, so if we go back to NoScript's website here, you see, oh my goodness, it disappeared. Well, we have to go in and we have to manage our extensions. So you click on the menu up here, right up here. You hover over extensions, and then you click manage extensions. And then you go over here and you go to uh, details. And you can choose whether or not to allow it in incognito mode, which that's probably something you will want to do. There's the option to remove it if you want to remove it down here, if you're not happy with it. And you can click and look at your individual site settings for no script and it's going to tell you every single thing it's going to block here. So if you want to make sure that little no script icon shows up here, you click this little puzzle piece here that says extensions, find no script and then click the little pin here and that'll pin it up there. And so once it's pinned up there, you can uh, quickly access items. It'll tell you what it's doing. So let's go to, let's just pick a website, for example. Let's go with CNET.com. Nothing's showing up, right? Right, because it's blocking scripts. And so you see the seven up there. It's going to tell you how many scripts it's blocking. You can click on that, and you can choose whether or not to keep the defaults, temporarily trust it, permanently trust it, say it's untrusted, which is how it's marked right now, um, or you can customize your access. So, you know, we don't want uh, cookies. We don't want doubleclick.net. We'll temporarily allow anything from CNET. And, and that's it. And then we'll just click this little reload button. And now we've got images. Okay. And it's, it's blocking everything else. But I'm able to see the page and see the images and click on a link and I can read the article and you'll notice there aren't a ton of ads over here on the side. If a pop-up shows up you can go in and say yo what was that and uh, block it. Let's see if we can get that to trigger again. So here's a, here's a pop-up that just showed up. This is probably coming directly from the CNET website because that's the only thing that's blocked. Um, so this is where that customization would come in where you can choose um, what options you want blocked and unblocked for a site. That's getting pretty advanced. So that's the basics of how to install it. 
from the website. All right, so we've removed the extension, and let's say we don't want to go to the NoScript website, but we just want to add it from the Chrome store. Really simple to do. Uh, click the menu button over there, highlight over extensions, and then select Visit Chrome Store. And once you visited the Chrome store, you can just type in no script and it'll come right up. It's this top one right up here. And then you just go through the process as you did previously and add to Chrome. Add extension. It's going to show up there. We don't care about syncing it. And then once again, we still have to go in and pin that if we want access to these settings. That's all there is to installing and using NoScript. You're going to have to experiment with it. Um, there are going to be things that you're going to find. You're going to go to a website and you're going to, and you're going to think, why isn't something working? Well, it's probably because NoScript is blocking it. So you'll need to, you'll need to play with it. And it's going to take you a little while to dial it in uh, to where you want it. So um, I've mentioned this before in the past, in the previous videos. Look, if you're going to use this on a regular basis, Please, please, please donate. Go to their PayPal website. Look at those beautiful children. Go to the website. Donate $10, $20, $50, $50 some other amount. Make a donation um, so that uh, Giorgio can put food on his children's table. Okay? All right. Uh, I'm John, and you've been watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And... I will do another one for Firefox here pretty soon. I wanted to hit Chrome first because I hadn't done it yet. And hey, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button and uh, subscribe so you know when the next video like this will come out. All right, thanks for watching.